so yes, today uh, we're going to be discussing the sick day rules for for the steroids that you're taking. Um, it is a whistle stop tour in a way, um, and a lot of these things you will probably already know anyway. Um, and then I think the most important thing is when you have the questions at the end, hopefully we'll be able to go through them um, if they're not covered in the slides. Okay. So, sick day rule, mind is next. So why are we doing this? Why is it important to know about and refresh about the sick day rule? So, as you will know that uh, when you can't absorb the thyroid medication into your system, we know that it's a, it's a stress hormone that you're taking. And so in periods of where you're unwell um, with, with various illnesses, you should be taking more of this stress hormone in the tablet form that you're taking. So in in a person where cortisol is working, let's say, ours would rise, whereas yours wouldn't. And so increasing your hydrocortisone in periods when you're unwell is really, really important. Um, and we do that to avoid you having what we call an adrenal crisis. So this kind of rhythm depicts on what the normal cortisol level does in our body and normally and the time frames that that would happen so as you can see quite early on in the morning a cortisol level would begin to rise anything as soon at five o'clock 5 a.m onwards the cortisol begins to rise and then obviously has a nice curve and then it dips over the course of the day and then you you don't need it when you're asleep essentially and so, as, as I said before, when you have periods of stress, illness, injury, anything like that, you need to be taking more of your hydrocortisone to get you over that period of stress and illness, because your own body is unable to, to do that and provide that for you. Yep, next. So when to increase um, your hydrocortisone? Now we get asked to this quite a lot, and this is a very general guideline. And the uh, NICE guidelines is also there as, uh, and where we have got our guidelines from is the NICE guidelines and from the Society for Endocrinology as well. So when your body is under a stress, what do we mean by that? Well, it's when you become unwell. And so common colds and coughs, we tend to say that your normal dose of hydrocortisone is fine to take. So for example, if you're taking 10 milligrams in the morning, five in the afternoon, and perhaps five early on in the evening, then that would be the dose that you would take for a common cold or a cough where you're able to potter around, eat and drink, um, you would normally take your normal dose and that would suffice. Where you would need to increase your hydrocortisone is when you're feeling really under the weather, something that has had to, you'd have to take yourself off to bed, where your temperature rises. I know it says 38 here, but it could be, um, 37.5, anything above that, where you feel feverish in yourself. So the flu, um, chills, um, chest infections, urine infections, anything that's kind of really putting pressure on, on your body, you would need to increase the dose of hydrocortisone. So any, it says minor or major dental work, but yes, if you were having a filling, say, in your molars um, or if you're having teeth extractions, root canals, things like that, you should be thinking about increasing your dose. 
um, just before the procedure and probably afterwards as well. Just to get you over that, that period of, of stress. Um, intense psychological stress. Now, this could be a sudden shock, sudden bad news, bereavement, um, something like that, which is where you should be thinking about increasing your dose as well. Where it goes on to say about diarrhea and vomiting, day surgery, anything planned or accident and trauma, we should be thinking about reverting to intramuscular hydrocortisone. So where, where you have di diarrhea and vomiting, where you are unable to keep your hydrocortisone tablets down or within your stomach, because when you have diarrhea and vomiting, it is coming out of your system and not going into your circulation. So that's when you would be of thinking about having the intramuscular hydrocortisone to avoid you going into an adrenal crisis. Okay, next. So how to increase your, your uh, hydrocortisone, as I mentioned before. So if, when you have a temperature, fever, infection, um, you should be thinking about doubling up your dose. Um, so whether, as I said, morning, if you're taking 10 milligrams, five milligrams, five milligrams, you would double it to 20 milligrams, 10 milligrams and 10 grams. Now, when you get, get to day four or five, let's say, for example, and you're feeling slightly better, you can then taper that off. Um, so you, if you feel the roughest in the morning, let's say, then you may want to double up your dose in the morning. And then as the day goes on and you're able to eat and drink and you're feeling better, then you can just take your usual five milligrams in the afternoon and five milligrams in the evening. It's not necessary to then double up for the whole day, especially if you're beginning to feel better. If you're taking uh, prednisolone, anything anything over 10 milligrams, you would you would split the dose. So you would take your five milligrams in the morning and five in, in the afternoon, or you could either split it further than that if, if need be. So if you're on antibiotics, now this is, this is a bit of a tricky one. So with antibiotics, with some antibiotics, they can cause diarrhea and vomiting. So again, that's something to be mindful of. Because as I said, we want to avoid you going into a crisis and we need you to have the hydrocortisone in your circulation. So if the antibiotics are causing diarrhea and vomiting, you should be thinking about going back to your GP and, and saying to them that you need to switch antibiotics. Um, so we, you know, it's, it's very important to know that yes, antibiotics may be needed for the infection that you have, but we want to avoid you having diarrhea and vomiting. So that needs to be changed if that's the case. So if you're on antibiotics for any infection, you would double up the dose that you're taking. Um, diarrhea and vomiting. So we normally say, if you have, and it says, it says, it says on the table to take an extra 20 milligrams of hydrocortisone straight away. Now, this is this is a, a, a guideline, if you like. So if your usual dose is 10 milligrams in the morning, um, you would just double that. Or say, say if you've taken the 10 milligrams in the morning, and then if you have a bout of diarrhea or vomiting within 30 minutes, you can take an extra 10 or 20 milligrams of hydrocortisone. Again, that's just a guidance. Um, but the main point there is to take more at that point because the diarrhea, it could be, or the vomiting could be a one-off and, and then that's fine. But if it's something like the norovirus, a stomach bug after eating something a bit dodgy, and we know that this diarrhea and vomiting isn't going to stop, then it's still fine to take the extra hydrocortisone, but then you should be thinking about giving yourself or somebody giving you your 100 milligrams of intramuscular hydrocortisone. Um, and, and the same thing goes for diarrhea. 
um, if you've had a, a one-off, um, then it, you know taking a double for, for, for that day might be absolutely fine. If you've just had one bout of diarrhea, it's out of your system, you're able to rehydrate and get your electrolytes back in, um, then that might be fine. But if you think actually, you know in your stomach that this isn't going to stop, then yes, take your double up your hydrocortisone, but also think about having your intramuscular hydrocortisone. Because if this isn't going to stop, again, this is going towards having an adrenal crisis. Um, significant fall or injury. This also depends on the significance of the fall or injury. But yes, again, you would double up your dose uh, for that day. Um, and if you're taking prednisolone more than 10 milligrams, you would just split the dose. So if it was less, if you were taking five milligrams of prednisolone, you would double up your dose. If it was 10 milligrams, you would just split the dose to five and five. And you would do that for the duration that you're unwell. So if you have an illness that lasts, and I know there's some really horrible illnesses that are going around, viral illnesses that are going around right now, that's lasting more than seven days, 10 days, then you would, again, assess yourself on a daily basis. But definitely in the first 48 hours, even 72 hours, you would double up your dose. Um, of that day, and then maybe on day three or day four, just see how you're feeling. Um, because obviously then you would be either on antibiotics or if it's something viral, then you would be looking to have some sort of like lemsip paracetamols, things like that to also help you get over that period um, of illness. Yeah, next. So recognizing an adrenal crisis, and I know, you know, the whole point of doing the sick day rules is obviously we want to avoid you going into a, a, an adrenal crisis, but we do get asked this question a, a lot and quite rightly so. So the, the, the main things that are, are on here are things like unresponsive and things like that. And that is one of the kind of last kind of stages of going into an adrenal crisis. So we want to avoid getting to that stage as much as possible. But people tend to say when they're going into an, an adrenal crisis or they feel like they're going into an, an adrenal crisis, they tend to feel, yes, unwell, um, but lightheadedness, um, feeling spaced out, confusion, feeling drunk. Um, some people are quite incoherent. Uh, feeling quite vague or becoming vacant, um, slurring up the speech. So these kinds of things are, are things to look out for. If you have been doubling your dose, but you start to feel these things, and what's happening in these situations is, is that your blood pressure is dropping, you are becoming dehydrated, um, your sodium potassium levels are then reducing and so you would start to feel these these things and that needs to be corrected quickly and that is corrected by having a hundred milligrams of intramuscular hydrocortisone and then contacting the emergency services whether it's 999 or 111 to say I'm having an adrenal crisis um, so if you're unable to, or if you're in a stage where you're unable to give yourself the injection, then you would just call, call 999 and they will blue light and come to you and give you the intramuscular injection. So these are just some things to kind of look out for. Um, yes, I think. So yeah, we've just covered that. What to do in a, an adrenal crisis um, is to, yes, inject yourself with 100 milligrams of hydrocortisone injection into the muscle um, to call the emergency service in 999 or 111. Um, and there's numbers on the helpline 
for any other information that you wanted on sick day rules or anything like that, the nurse is available. And for general information, there's a number there as well.